Hi everyone, so today we're going to be talking about the Small Business Adaption Grant. Now this was released last week and it was closed very promptly last week as well. Congratulations if you're one of the 11,000 businesses that managed to get on that before it shut. Uh, essentially it allowed small businesses to get grants uh, between two and ten thousand dollars to spend on their business. It was shut at the end of last week but hopefully fingers crossed the government will open that back up again there are some rumors going around that that might be the case so keep an eye out for that if you weren't successful last week in getting in your quotes and everything on time so with the small business adaption grant uh, one of the things that you could be spending uh, the money on was, and let me get the official terminology, building your business through marketing and communication activities such as content development and digital strategy, aka video content. Video is absolutely one of the areas that you can spend your grant on if you've got it, or if, as I said, maybe it might be opening up again soon and there's that other opportunity to be spending it. Video is definitely a really good option to look into to be uh, allocating those funds to at this time. And the reason for that is that in times where trade is down, um, people are looking for how to get more business. I mean, marketing can be something that is cut during hard times in business, but it's also something that shouldn't be cut. And that's because this is when you need your business to be seen and heard, and you need to be attracting customers now more than ever. This is a fantastic opportunity for businesses to get on top of their digital marketing, their content marketing, especially if they've been closed or had decreased trade during the COVID period. But also just this time of year, end of financial year coming up, looking towards next year, what we can be doing to ensure we have a firm digital marketing and content strategy in place for the year ahead. So today we're going to be looking at the different types of videos that you could be looking at getting for your business and what kind of benefits they have to offer. The first video that we're going to be looking at today is the explainer or demo video. As the name suggests, it's a video that either explains your product or service or demonstrates it. So for example, if you're selling a vacuum cleaner, the video might show a mess and then show your vacuum cleaner effectively cleaning up the mess. If you have a service, then the video would communicate how you work with your clients and for your clients to get the best results. 95% of people have said that they've watched a demo video or an explainer video to learn more about a product or service before buying, and 84% have said that that video has then influenced them to buy a product. So uh, they're definitely effective. People like to see how things work and how you operate. So if you're, you don't have something like this, it's definitely something to look into. You can use explainer or demo videos on your website. You can share them on your social um, and you can send them in your email database as well. So they're quite versatile in how you can use them. If you've got a lead, and they email you and they ask you about your product or service, you can just chuck that video um, in your email response as well. So really a great tool to have. The next type of video I would recommend for your business is social media videos. So social media videos are short and sharp and super easy to share, usually no more than 60 seconds, often between 15 and 30. And the purpose is really to uh, keep your database engaged and keep yourself in front of mind. So if you've got a restaurant, you might have a 15 second social about um, food specials that you currently have this month and people will see that and they go oh you know that looks really good maybe we'll go eat there tonight so it's to keep you up there top of mind thinking about you thinking about your brand in an engaging way and keeping in mind that people have really short attention spans as well the third type of video you can use for your business is testimonial videos. Word of mouth is a powerful force and people value the opinions of others when making a decision. 90% of people look to online reviews to make a decision before making a purchase and 79% of people trust those reviews as much as they would a recommendation from family or friends. Testimonial videos take that to the next level because they're not just a written review which people can look at and think, oh, are they real? Are they not real? I'm not not sure anyone could have typed that. They're a video testimonial, so you can see their excitement or their enthusiasm. You can hear about their experiences and it really just increases the trust factor of the content. You can also use video testimonials in a range of different places. So uh, have them on your website, have a page dedicated to them. You can share them on your socials throughout the year, however you want to do it email databases and you can send to leads as well. So just a really valuable tool to have 
um, in your marketing toolkit. The next type of video you should have for your business is a company profile video. A company profile video communicates who you are, uh, what your culture is and what kind of values you, you foster. It looks at what you do and why you do it. Company profile videos are really good for boosting your brand, making sure your brand is known because when your brand is known, then your brand is front of mind for prospective buyers and they'll be thinking of you if they have a need in your service or your product. These videos are really great to just put on the homepage of your website um, or about us and it just clearly communicates to someone clicking in what you're all about. The next type of video you can create to add value to your business is educational and informative type videos. So like what I'm doing now, these type of videos share information with your database, with your clients and with other members in your industry. These are really great because you're providing value to your clients and at the same time you're showing that you have really strong knowledge of your industry, that you know what you're talking about and that you know what you're doing. Say if you're an accountant, you might share some tips about how to use Xero um, that your clients can then look at and then they don't have to email you directly, um, especially if these are reoccurring issues that your clients might be having. You can create these videos to provide those answers rather than manually typing out the answers each time or going over it over the phone. You have these tools um, in your kit that you can share with your clients, with prospective clients to add that value. So you can use these type of videos to share knowledge and also to communicate some of the key points of difference that you may offer as a provider in your industry that your competitors may not offer. Continuing on that thread, but looking now internally into your business, training videos are a really great way to save time and increase efficiencies in your business. So training videos, they're really great tools because you know that the information is going to be shared in the exact same way each time. So you don't have that issue of, was there an issue with the trainer, a communication problem? You know that's not gonna be the case because everybody's being uh, shared that same information in the same way, in the same format. A great time saver and a great way to make sure everyone receives the same information in the same way. Another benefit with training videos is that staff can use them wherever they are in the world. So really great for remote workplaces, where people are working from home, but then really great for just in-office in solutions as well. Training videos can be one of those things that seem like a big investment at the time, but if you look at the long-term cost savings in terms of having a trainer and having a trainee and potential misunderstandings and people being trained in different ways, it's just, it's really worth the investment and then you've got it there and it makes your company more attractive when it comes to if you're looking at selling the company down the line as well, you've got those assets there on hand. The last video tool I'm going to be talking about today, and there are so many more, but you don't want to watch a two hour video, um, is the website banner. Now the website banner is a really um, great way to engage people the moment they click on your site and they're immediately exposed to visuals that communicate who you are and what you're about and what you stand for. It's just a really uh, nice way to greet people as they come onto your website. So that's it, seven types of video that I've covered today that would be really great to invest in for your business, um, looking into next financial year, um, or if you're lucky enough to benefit from that business adaption grant, you could be putting some of the money into some of these uh, video marketing tools. If you'd like to talk about a video marketing strategy for your business, whether it be for the next quarter, for the next year, we can work with you and your budget to create something that's gonna be really effective for your brand and help you be seen in there. Please feel free to contact us in the details below. That's all from me today. Chat to you next time.